I am so excited to share with you a new action camera that I just picked up minutes ago. Now, coming from the GoPro Hero 4 Silver, mm, she's a little outdated, so I was definitely ready for an upgrade. So I got all set to go and get the new GoPro Hero 7 in black and walked out with the new DJI Osmo Action. Find out why right after this. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Brandon with Brands Logic, where I will try my best to give you an honest review. Let's get to it. I decided to go with the new Osmo Action. I mean, after all the reviews, and some are good, some are bad, I, I just decided to try it out. I mean, it just seems to have everything I'm looking for and more. So, well, let's open this bad boy up. Ooh, it is raining outside, so we'll go ahead and slice it down the middle and push that back. There we go. Alright, so we don't scratch anything else up. Let's put her back in her case. sensation of pulling plastic off that's nice and if you take it here you can latch it and snaps in just like the GoPros do if you wanted to get off open and pushes out very nice and here is the battery comes in a nice plastic case and it has even a spot for your micro SD card. Oh, and by the way, you will have to purchase your own micro SD card for these if you do not purchase it from DJI Direct. It's the SanDisk 128 gigabyte Extreme Plus, and I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can pick one of these up. So as far as the battery goes, DJI has decided to do something entirely different than what GoPro has been doing where GoPro actually has the door where you flip it open, you pop the battery in, you shut the door. These batteries all come with a door already inserted and a rubber seal all the way around. Very unique. Take the camera, put it in here, and you drop it down in. Now, the neat part is you snap it both. There's two spots. There's one right here. It goes orange and then locks. And then you see there's an orange spot on that. You push it down and it locks. As long as you don't see any orange, you know you're fully sealed. Now to release them, you have to release two spots, which is kind of nice. It's a great safety feature. You pop this, boom, pop that, and release. It springs out. It's on like a little spring. So again, push down, locks in. Both of them locked into place. Very cool. Okay, what a lot of people are not talking about in their video that I'm going to address right now. When you flip this thing open to get out that micro SD card, it is hard. You have to put your finger down inside that thing. Now, the problem is, is it's, it's sunk down in. So trying to get your finger down in there, you try to flip it. And once you click it, boom, you knock the lid off. I mean, the door is made to come off, but I don't want to have it come off because I'm trying to put the micro SD card in every time. And that gets to be a kind of a hassle. So the easiest way I came up with is this little metal slip here. You poke it down in here and pop. You're able to pull it out. Now when you go to put it back in, same problem. I can't get it down in there. So I just take this little screwdriver flat bit and then I put it down in. So just a little FYI for all you guys out there. DJI has made interchangeable lenses, which is great. So if you scratch this, you can replace it with another lens. They also have ND filters that they're making for this that I have on order, and I'll do a review as soon as I get those as well. You will not be able to take this off the first time you get this, as easy as I'm showing you now, because I've already used a pair of pliers and a cloth, and I do stress, use a cloth and a pair of pliers. I swear Superman was in the office that day putting these things on. 
cell. You only have to put it on hand tight, that's it. I mean, it has a rubber seal around it, still keep it waterproof. Great concept, loving it. The mounts are very nice. They come with 3M tape, one curved mount for putting on a helmet. And then it also comes with a flat circular mount, probably best to use in a vehicle or somewhere stationary. And the nice part about DJI is they've come out with this snap ring. You pop it on and you turn it and it clicks. Release, turn and off. Pretty neat. So I found this to be interesting with the screw mount that uh, DJI has provided us with. It's different than the traditional GoPro one. It's a lot smaller. When you go to turn it in, I've always had that problem where, you know, when you get under the camera, when it's like folded in, it's very hard to get under that and screw it in. So DJI has given us a wing style, which really makes it nice to get that extra torque when you're turning it in. And that's gonna mean something to you if your camera's mounted to the hood of your car. So good job, DJI. And also included is the USB-C charging cable. It's about a foot long. One eternity later. So much later that the old narrator got tired of waiting and they had to hire a new one. So I went ahead and downloaded the DJI Mimo app early. It automatically connects. And the problem I have with this is that you have to have your phone in landscape, which is kind of inconvenient because I find it a lot easier if I could hold it upright. Okay, so let's go over a few of the options here that you have on the back. You pull it down and you have your configuration settings. You click on that. You can save, I believe, up to five presets. Great for slow motion if you use that a lot or your perfect video settings for your 1080p. Let's say if you want to use 1080p at 30 frames, use that most often. You can go ahead and set a preset for that. Brightness is here, so you can drag and pull that all the way down. I don't even know why you would want it dim. I keep mine all the way up, always. Then you have a lock function, which is really nice. You push it, and as soon as you hit it, it'll go back to your main screen. Now you can't touch anything. You can't drag anything, drag it down, drag it over, which really works nice if you're underwater and your camera wants to get all squirrely on you. You won't lose your shot that way. So all you have to do is just touch the screen and physically drag it up and then unlocks the camera. Uh, then you have your auto rotation, keep it on auto. Then you have your spot meter on or off and then you have voice control on or off. And we'll get back to that in one second. I wanted to show you guys this now, and this is the main reason why I picked this camera over the GoPro Hero 7 is because of the front facing camera. And let's go ahead and show you that now. The main one is your quick switch. And what that is, is you just long press and hold and then the camera flips to the front screen. You long hold again, and it goes back. If you double tap, it goes to the front facing camera, and then you double tap again, and it goes back. And then there's voice control. On your voice controls, you have voice control. You can turn it on physically here. You can also turn it on in the main menu. Now you have command list. So you have start recording, stop recording, take photo, screen switch, and shut down. Those are the commands that you can use right now from DJI. I'm sure they're gonna give more in their firmware updates, but for now that's what they're doing. So all you have to do is drop the menu down, turn on your voice, put it back up, and now you just say screen switch. And there you go. Screen switch. And it's back. Now you can say Start recording, and it records, and you can say stop recording, and take a picture and what have you. So you get the idea. Right now, I turn it off. All right, so up next is your video. Now you have your options for your 1080p, 25 frames per second, 30, 48. Now you notice the rock steady is on, okay? That rock steady will work only at the 50, 60, it will disappear as soon as you hit 100. There it goes, rock steady's off. So you can do 1080p in 100 frames, 120, and even 240 frames per second, but your best bet is to be stationary, so on a tripod or something like that. Uh, then you have your 2.7K, 27K, 4.3 ratio, 4K, 4K, 4.3 ratio. So you have tons of options on here, it makes the camera so versatile. 
uh, coming over to the right side swiping over now I have it on auto if you go to manual now you're able to set your shutter speeds you have 3200 1600 all the way through to auto so the next button is your D warp now I think I'm gonna use this a lot because it makes your camera look less fish-eyed when you have it on versus off and that's be something you're gonna want to use for when you're vlogging so it doesn't look as they say GoPro-ish. Now I know a lot of people are saying, oh well the GoPros have the external mic and the DJI does not. I guarantee you in the next firmware or two it's going to have an external microphone. And your last option is to pull to the left and that'll bring up your play mode so you can play your videos. And there's also a grid. You click on the grid and you can go or you can hit all. Then it tells you how many videos you have how the photos, slow motion, things like that. And all these functions that I show you on the camera, you can do on the DJI Mimo app as well. All right, so we're ready to start the vlog. We're gonna go get ourselves something to eat. And when I say we're, I mean my daughter. Yeah, that's my daughter. And the answer is no. And it is sunny today, so I have, here, let me hold that. So I have no ND filters yet, so this is just gonna be raw as raw can be. So it might be a little blown out. This is gonna be the microphone of it as well. So we're gonna go ahead and hook this thing up to the, the hood, and we're gonna get some footage of some traveling. Are you ready? Me too. Let's take this and put it out there. So here we are at Right there, <laughs> Culver. Apparently, I can't uh, point. Here we are. After you, oh. my dear. Oh, isn't that cool? So we are here at our favorite restaurant, and we're ready to order, right? Thank you. I appreciate it. So it is a absolute beautiful day and we've been we've been really really waiting for a nice beautiful day like today. Over here in Michigan it has been nothing but rain. I think it's supposed to rain all week. made it this far with me I really appreciate it it's just helping my channel grow and it's encouraging me to make more videos for you guys so which one are you using are you using the new hero black 7 or are you using the new DJI Osmo action like I am I would love to hear your opinion drop me a comment down below and we'll talk about it if you guys like my videos and want to help my channel grow then please subscribe and hit that little bell down at the bottom and it'll notify you on every video I post don't forget to share and smack that like button too for me. I appreciate it. So, is it gonna be the new DJI Osmo Action? Or is it gonna be the GoPro Hero 7? You decide. I'll see you guys in the next video. I totally appreciate the time you guys spent for I'm totally <laughs> Oof, that sucks. Woo, B. I mean, the possibilities are endless.